Hey everybody, it's Matt again for God and Gears and I'm actually at the house today. Um, we had an interesting week, which is a nice way of saying it. Um, but anyway, so this car, our 2014 Jeep Latitude needed some work. Stace hit a deer a couple weeks ago, so we got the, the hood fixed on that in the front end. And then I had to put some coil packs and plugs in it and intake gasket. So yeah, we're, we are, didn't make it to the garage today, but I still have a lesson, so we're gonna get into that. And uh, I'm gonna be in Luke chapter 13. All right, I'm gonna read verses one through five. There were present at the season, some that told him of the Galileans who, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And then in verse 2, And Jesus answered unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in, in Jerusalem? And then in verse 5, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, you shall all likewise perish. So Pontius Pilate, he was a, a ruthless ruler, okay? And he had some of the Galileans killed. And what he did was he mixed their blood, that he, he murdered them, and he mixed their blood with the blood of sacrifices. All right, so instead of Jesus condemning Pilate for that, he was taking the opportunity to teach a, a lesson about repentance. And so repentance is the inner resolve um, and a determination to turn from sin, you know, and then turn to the Lord. You know, the goal of repentance is to reverse or limit or cancel divine judgment and the consequences of sin. And so in, in verse 4, Jesus, he was, he's reminding the people, you know, that the 18 that died when the Tower of Shalom fell, he was saying that, you know, they weren't more sinners than the rest of the men in Jerusalem. All right, so Death, it can come to anyone, you know, whenever we, we least expect it. In verses 3 and 5, Jesus, he's telling us twice. And he's saying the same thing exactly. Um, it must be really important if he says it twice and it's exactly. And um, my King James Bible, the letters are written in red. In the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, whenever the letters are written in red, that's Jesus, that he's actually speaking those words. If any of you have red letter Bibles. Um, so yeah, that, that verse is, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And he, Jesus says that twice. He says that twice. You know, so unless we as believers repent, you know, of sin, we're subject to the temporal judgment, you know, including the physical death. You know, if unbelievers, they won't repent, they're going to perish eternally in hell. And so it's our job, again, this is an important topic, but it's our job as Christians just to share the gospel news with people and tell people about Jesus and the sacrifice that he made, you know, on the cross and he did it for the whole world, you know, uh, and Jesus commands us. It's a command. He tells us in Matthew 28, um, chapter 18, I believe, but, uh, the great commission. So, you know, we're to go throughout the world and, and share the gospel news. Um, so I'll have a word of prayer and then talk about a couple more things. Dear Lord, thank you for uh, this day and your blessings, Lord. Uh, just thank you a, a rough week, but Lord, we got through it. And got the car running good again, and we appreciate that. And uh, hopefully, Lord, we'll get it back over to the garage here soon and get working on the Chevelle again. But I just thank you again, and I hope this uh, message is just a blessing to the people watching, Lord. And uh, just be with us the rest of the evening. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. So I just also want to mention that uh, the, the homeschoolers that are coming to God and Gears, they're, they're off for the summer. So the scheduling is just kind of... It's all over the place. That's why I was doing some of the car videos and the message. But um, we'll see. It should pick back up again in the fall. They're going to probably come back. And the one girl, Lily, is graduating. She graduated, you know, 12th grade. So congratulations, Lily. And uh, like I said, we are uh, got this thing running again. And uh, I'll be back over there either tomorrow or next week and keep working on that door and then hopefully get the door hung and then get some more sheet metal welded on. So... Just uh, everybody stay focused, stay encouraged, and uh, share Jesus with people. All right, and we will see you next week.